Hi, my name is Miss Christie. I am a teaching artist in the PACE program with the Acadiana Center for the Arts in the Lafayette Parish School System in Lafayette, Louisiana. Today we are going to be talking about cave paintings. This is artwork that humans did tens of thousands of years ago. The, these caves were found to have paintings of animals. Their hand stencils where someone put their hand against the cave wall and blew different kinds of materials onto the, their hand to leave the imprint of their hand. Some of those materials were straight from the earth, raw sienna, yellow ochre, different kinds of clay that would produce a color. And so most of the colors that we're gonna use today in this art project are warm colors. Do you know what the three main warm colors are? If you said red, orange, and yellow, you are correct. We're also going to use black, and we're going to use a whole bunch of different warm colors. Every orange, every yellow, and every red that I have in my crayon box. So all you'll need for this project are crayons, every warm color you can find, and a, a regular sheet of paper. You can use construction paper, but today I'm going to use just a regular sheet of copy paper. So the first thing we want to do when we get started is to put our hand up on the cave wall. So we're going to pretend like this piece of paper is a cave wall. Now people that, that were in these caves, whether they were visiting or living there, they created these images as a way to share information with anyone else who might come along to show what kind of animals that they could, that they could hunt for and what kinds of things were going on in that area. So one of the things they did, maybe as a signature, was to put their handprint. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick one of your warm crayons. I'm just going to pick a regular orange and I'm going to trace out my hand. So hold your hand very, very still. Don't move it around and trace the outline. So I'm going to go around my thumb, around my fingers. Staying very, very close to my fingers. So, there you go. Now, what I want to do, when, what I want you to do is I want you to color around your hand. So leave your hand there on the cave wall and color around your hand. And you can change the colors that you're working with. Often the cave walls were the color of the stone that was around that area and it would weather and as water would filter in it would change the color of the stone into these beautiful warm colors. So when I take my hand away you can see that this was a stencil that I used my hand as a stencil. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to find your other warm colors. I'm going to use a yellow, kind of a dark yellow. Let's see, it's called goldenrod. And I'm going to go back over that same area with the goldenrod color. So you're just going to keep coloring with your crayons, all different colors. Now I'm going to come back in with a dark red-orange. You're going to keep going around and around your hand. Filling in that area between your fingers and around the outside of your thumb. So go ahead and use a dark orange, a light orange, a yellow orange. Some of the colors that I've found that are in the box are called Outrageous Orange. And we have some other ones called Bittersweet, and these are kind of reddish brick colors. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. 
So again, it's, an, it's another kind of orange, maybe with a little bit of brown in it. All right, so we've only done the area around our hand. The next part of the cave wall that we're going to do is all around the world, people were creating spirals. Do you know what a spiral is? We are going to draw a small spiral down here at the bottom. So you watch me first and then you try. I'm going to use a red to do this. Let's see, this one's called Brick Red. So I'm going to keep my hand here to hold my paper steady. And I'm going to start in the middle. And I'm just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's almost like a snail shell. So you can go ahead and use a different color for that. You're just going to trace what you already drew. After you trace with the second color, go ahead and find a third color and trace the spiral. I'm using a, the goldenrod color and I'm just going to fill it in with a yellow. Any yellow that you want to use. We're just going to make this spiral nice and bright. The animal paintings that they were creating were horses, buffalo, cows of the day, goats, and woolly rhinos. If you take a look at this uh, this close-up of the painting, you can see that this rhino has a very long horn. The, the rhino that we're going to draw is going to be right here above our spiral. So I want you to find a black crayon and we're going to get started on our rhino. So over here above the spiral is where we're going to make this rhino. And everything is made of shapes. Anything that you look at in nature, you can break those things down into shapes. So when you look closely at this rhino, right up here, the rhino up here, you can see this basic shape here is a little bit like a, an egg shape or an oval. His head, we're going to use a rectangle to draw that. So the first shape we're going to make is his body. And we're going to put your hand back where you used it as a stencil to hold your paper steady. And we're going to draw an oval. So you watch me first and then you try. This oval is going to be right here above the spiral. Can you see that? This oval is at a little bit of a diagonal. So you go ahead and try that. A diagonal oval. The next shape you're going to make is to the side, on the left side of the oval, you're going to draw a rectangle. So you can already see that that's the head of our rhinoceros. We're going to give him a long curved tr uh, tusk. So when you draw that, watch me first and then you try. Go up and then back down, and you can color that in. Did you do that? Do you have a long trunk for your rhino? He also has a second horn behind the front one, and it's a little bit smaller. You can give him an eye underneath that one. And then we're going to give him a little ear here and an ear here. Do you see that? So this is his back right here. We're going to go up a little bit and then back down. So this is his back side. And near his back side, you're going to put a triangle shape. So you watch me first and then you try. So on the bottom of your oval, you're going to draw a, a triangle. And that's his back leg. Then you're going to draw up the belly of the animal, and then you're going to draw another triangle for one of his front legs, and a second triangle for his other front leg. 
After you do that, you keep drawing up the front of his body. Maybe this is where his chest is. Go across to where his head is and give him a little mouth. Can you see that? It's a little bit of a triangle shape. After you do that, they have a kind of curved, almost like a bird's beak, a curved lip in the front. So you're going to go down and then back up to his trunk, to his tusk. All right. So he is the colors of the cave wall. So we're going to give him a little bit of this orange color. Go ahead and color him in. I like to use as many of my warm colors as I can. Oops. All right, after you color him in a little bit, let's continue on with our cave wall. So find those colors that you like to use around your hand and fill in around your rhinoceros. I'm just using a red orange this time. So I'm gonna go all the way around my spiral and around my rhino. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to draw are some deer. So a lot of the hunters were hunting deer, and so all across the world you will find, if you look up pictures of cave paintings, is you'll find a lot of deer and stags. That's the male deer with the horns. So we're going to draw some of the deer, and we're going to use ovals just like we did with the rhino, but they're going to be a little bit smaller and across the top. So let's start up here above your hand and draw an oval. Can you do that? So color it in all the way with your black crayon, and then you're going to give them a neck and a little head. So the head is an oval, the neck is a long rectangle, and then the front legs and the back legs, it all is very simple, one, two, one, two. And you can give them a little tail if you want to. So we're gonna do three of those. I'm gonna put one right here, an oval with a rectangle, and another oval and color that in. If you need to pause the video at any time and catch up, please feel free to do so. So front legs, one, two, and back legs, one, two. And I'm gonna do one more deer, an, an oval, and fill it in. A long rectangle in the front. An oval for the head. Give it a little ear, color that in, and then one, two for front legs, and one, two for the back legs. So once you finish doing that, you're going to find your other crayons that you want to use to color your cave walls, and you're just going to go all the way around everything. Color the entire paper. Remember, this is a cave wall. So what they would do is they would, they would have torches, they would have firelight in the caves with them, and as the fire would flicker, you could see the animals moving around on the wall. It would create kind of like an animation for cave people. I'm gonna use some more red, yellow, red orange. So go all around your animals and it's okay if it smudges a little bit because the cave walls were covered in little cracks and drips from the water that would come in. All right so once you get your animals colored the way that you want them I think I'm going to add a little bit of red to my 
my rhino. Then go ahead and you can color your hand any color you want. I've left it here white of the paper, but I think I'm going to go ahead and create kind of a stone color. So I'm going to use brown. And I'm coloring very fast, but you can take your time. You can pause the video anytime you need to to catch up. I'm starting with a little bit of brown, and then I'm going to come in with that goldenrod color. Better yet, a yellow orange. And a different brown. So go ahead and color it all in, and I want to thank you for joining me for our lesson today. Cave painting, uh, these paintings occurred 40,000 to about 13,000 years ago all over the world. So some of the pictures I have to show you today along with this film are paintings that are from Argentina, from Spain, from Indonesia, from Africa, and from France. Some of the most famous cave paintings are in France. There's the La Salle uh, caves that we can't visit any longer, but the French government built replicas so that people could visit those paintings. So I encourage you to get online and look up cave paintings. It's very exciting to know that we were creating art as much as 40,000 years ago. We will be posting a new video, a new lesson every day at the Acadiana Center for the Arts YouTube channel. Be sure to come back and make art with us tomorrow. If you are interested in supporting the arts in Lafayette, Louisiana, please go to the Acadiana Center for the Arts website. And if you would like to have private art lessons with me, my name is Miss Christie. You can go to LushCeramics.com to reach me. Thank you so much for being with me today.